Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. My monitor is gonna die. Um, so yeah, my monitor is gonna die. So but we'll continue. So the message was, um, oh maybe something is about to end. That's a good omen. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's gonna die, guys. Okay. But because before, when you know, it's like it was about um, the song "Meet Me Halfway." Can you meet me halfway? Something like that. I think it's what uh, I don't know who sang it. Is it Black Eyed Peas or something like that? So. Um, you could be doing some sort of like, uh, what do you call it? Um, different ethnicity, because we know Black Eyed Peas was totally all different ethnicity, different backgrounds, right? Um, but someone like, it's like, I'm here, meet me halfway, you know, and then, um, you know, and then, you know, we'll see that how it progress. So someone is very uh, welcoming to, to the relationship, to the connection. I mean, like, it's totally, you know, it's like people can have their guards up, yes. But I feel like it reached a point already. It's just like, there's no more guard that you need to do. <laughs> There's no more guard. <laughs> the person is opening up. So welcome to my channel. How are you? This is your intuitive extended plus. Okay. Um, we're gonna get each zodiac over here. This is separate. Okay. In the extended, this has no part here. Okay. <laughs> because people say, so is he reading for? No. It's already ex separate. I keep saying. Yeah. Okay. So Gemini here. Mm -hmm. Gemini here. These are all the red in the extended, separately from Leo over here. Gemini, Leo. Okay. And then you got here Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio. And these are the hit lists in the extended. And Taurus. All right. Okay. So we got Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. That's the hit list. So halfway. Okay, so meaning things are becoming balanced and like trying to be put into a scale, which is good. Okay, Sal is gonna be chill. Okay, knee high socks, don't mind me. Okay, focus on the read. Okay, so yes, so there is a there is a situation between the two of you here right now because something has shifted for the good. Okay, someone tried to escape the connection, but only to find out like it's just like. I really like this person. I really do. You know, it's like, uh, like, it's, it's, I don't know how the runaway bride ended, but I know she always run. I mean, she has the, what, she has the trainer, right? So this person did something similar to that. Either you or you or the other person did it, but it's really just like, it's not about cold feet. They just felt like I need to run and then they run. So it's a mix of um, runaway bride and Forrest Gump. Okay, I like that combination then because you know when forests run, right? Run, forest, run. But the person was actually Julia Roberts. Run, Julia, run. Okay, so that's what I felt. But you know, it's like just any other kind of surprise, you know, in that movie, it's like you never get, you never know what you're gonna get. Life is just like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you get someone that you fall in love with. Sometimes you just hit the coconut, which is, ew. Sometimes you hit the peppermint, ew. Those are the things that I don't like. <laughs> but I feel like you stumbled upon the dark chocolate caramel. Mm -hmm. Salted, mm -hmm. yeah. A little bit fudge, mm -hmm. a little bit Nutella in the inside, yes. Mm -hmm. A little bit, uh, can be cherry. I was like, I like cherry, sometimes. Uh -huh. So this can be the person right now that you're dealing with. You love it. Him, her, you love, you love this person. You run away, or they have run away because, I don't know, this, this is a strong connection. So what is a strong connection? Something that people freaked out from. Okay. Um, it's not about who's strong, they get scared. It's strong because it's something that gives them peace. That's, the str that's a strength, okay? A, a strong connection is when the relationship reaches to a point where it's peaceful. Not when the two of you are push-pulling the devil card and toxic energy. That's not strong. That's called bad energy, okay? A strong connection is when you reach the level of we are calm. 
we are ready to settle. We know what we want. We love each other. That's strong. So don't, uh, don't cross strong as someone, there is this big desire and we keep fighting. That's not strong. That's bull crap. Okay? This one is love. That's strong love. Okay. That's why they run away from. Because if it's too good to be true, then, you know, it gets freaked out. Because, right, when someone is telling you, it's like, no, you just sign up. It's free. No. I'll walk away. But if someone says, like, for $1,000, you get this, this, and that. Oh, let me see. What do I get with $1,000? But when they tell you it's free, wait, what? It must be a catch, you know? Knight of Cups. Message of love coming your way. It's right here. Younger water sign. Someone who wants to explore now the feelings. Yes. This is how fast they run also. They want to, this is how fast they're going to come back also. Okay. Now, this energy between you and this person, as, um, as I feel here that they were connecting the dots between the two of you, so I'm not sure what that means, but they're definitely connecting dots. Looks like dots, six of pentacles. Okay. What to give in the relationship? Like, it's almost like it's smelling like a 401k where they want to contribute and they want to see also what are the benefits later on, like long term. Okay. So this is where the person's energy is. It's just like, they want long term, but if I invest now, I mean, through retirement at 65, what do I get? Okay. Is it, is it selfish? Um, I feel like this person is, some people are just like that. They're into long term retirement idea. Okay. So I'm going to keep investing six of pentacles. Okay. Strength card with the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to keep investing, can be a Leo, of course, into the connection, and then I'm going to be invest, uh, like investing and investing and investing, because that's a strength card. So, meaning, no matter how hard it is, uh, fine, I'll put more, because it's just like, why am I even putting energy in this relationship? Because the person right now sees that there is future potential. Mm -hmm. So they know, it's like, oh, this is going to be good later on. King of Wands, very driven now. Okay, this person, I feel like both of you are meeting each other. Yes, can be different in age. You have a fire energy over here with the King of Wands, Aries. Queen of Cups. All right, what is this? Okay. Because the King is looking here, and the Queen is looking at the King. I sense here someone is going to be surprised with the connection. And how someone is just about to express themselves towards you. Vice versa. Because the queen here definitely is creeping behind the king. And I feel like the queen is very playful here. It's like this. Similar. Someone wants to pet the beast. You know what I'm talking about. Not the beast. Uh -huh. Someone here is going to show a selfless kind of love. And then... It's almost like the conversation I'm hearing is like, you know, I never give up. You know, I always love you. Queen of Cups, selfless. And then the other person gets it. It's just like this soothing feeling. The lion becomes tamed. The aggression becomes uh, a sigh. You know, oh, a moment of relief is coming. It's good. I like this. It's like someone's... Because the lion is very defensive was very guarded. They can love, but of course they have to show the stronger side of them. And only pure gentle care can make this hard, stubborn, you know, energy, it's a fixed sign, to be soothed down. It's almost like someone is getting flushed with love. That's what I'm feeling here. Which is the first card. It is the birth card. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to continue this reading, totally separate from that one. The hit list will be read from Taurus against Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus here. Um, all separate. Make sure you hit the bell because come Wednesday, there is something that we'll be announcing and it's going to be the bomb. Okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye. It's not a strong connection when you're worried. It's not a strong connection when someone is feeling uncertain that's not realizing that you know it's like even two people who are different can fall in love mm -hmm. and can meet each other halfway Temp taurus dealing with a gemini yeah 
You got your three of cups. 